Welcome. I'm sitting in front of the freezer again, which can only really mean one thing. Another tech video. Actually. A while ago, I posted my laptop review video, which I think that's how a lot of you found me. And some of the comments were saying that they were really interested in the concept of a channel that reviews tech products from like a regular person point of view, because I'm not tech savvy at all. And <laughs> that was the video. And while I was super flattered by the comments and they were all super nice and encouraging, I do not really see myself doing a tech review channel just because like firstly, I don't have the funds for it to buy a new laptop every other week or month. And also I'm not interested enough in tech, I think, to just devote an entire channel to it and to really get into that. And also the technology stuff that I own really reflects the fact that I don't really care too much about new releases or whatever. Anyway, I figured it might actually be funny to show you the collection of tech stuff just to kind of show you what I'm dealing with here in terms of my interest in tech. This of course being the exception because this is quite a new release and like recent it's year old. So I just wanted to say that this video is not me trying to brag about all the stuff that I have. And I know that's a quite known disclaimer, but like the very reason I'm filming this video is because my tech collection is not up to date at all. And it might be a little bit laughable to some people and I'm totally okay with that. I don't mind. Also, I know that technology can be really expensive this one. And also the stuff that I have, I'm very well aware that it's a lot more than a lot of people in the world have. I'm not trying to ride my high uh, moral horse here saying like, I have so little. I have a lot. This is just for entertainment purposes, let's say. Not trying to brag and not trying to put anyone down who has less. So let's just get started. Just to get this out of the way, of course, this is part of my tech collection, but it's not really the point of the video. Oh my God. That is why I don't own expensive stuff, because that happens quite a bit. I think it can be considered as hot tech, but um, it's not the point of this video, so I'm just gonna not talk about you too much. Then, to actually start this video, let's start with my iPod Touch from the year 2000, and I don't actually know when this was released. That's how old it is. Also, I don't, I don't keep up, you know? Let's just say that this was kind of around the time that the first iPods were released, I think. Also, when I owned this, it was already kind of old because there were newer iPod touches out there. <laughs> Sounds really funny to say because I don't think anyone owns iPod touches anymore, right? I don't actually know which release this is. Let's see. Whoa. Okay, this looks rough. Wow. Oh, wow. I don't think I ever took this off. Yeah, it's a little bit embarrassing. I'm not going to show you that. <laughs> There's actually a little story that goes with it. I got this off of eBay secondhand. I bought it off of a person. I used it happily for a few years. Actually, I'm still using it. <laughs> Believe me or not. Up until one day when I got a call from... This is going to sound like it's made up, but it's not. I promise. I got a call from a detective. This is a real story. I'm not making this up. Apparently, this iPod was part of a stolen batch of iPods from somewhere. I don't even know if I should say that. Can I tell this story? I think so, right? Anyway, I'm not gonna say where it was stolen from. He actually came over to our house to get my statement. So I had to give him the details of how things went down. And uh, yeah, if you're confused right now, let me tell you, I was I was confused. I was like, oh, I just bought this from someone on eBay, man. Like, But yeah, anyway, I still have it. He let me have it at the end. And yeah, I actually still use it to this day, not entirely sure. Like I haven't used it for the last two years, I think, but that's also because I haven't really been traveling a lot and I keep it because I use it to listen to music on the plane or the train if I don't want to use my data or my battery. So it's actually quite a good backup if I want to be able to have some entertainment with me. Okay, next. The fact that there is a wire attached to these earphones might be annoying to some, but I am so glad that this is attached to this. Also, I recently discovered that AirPods are a whopping 200 euros. This was 10 euros. I, I don't really want to talk about money too much because it's kind of boring, but 10 euros. Like when these fall out, I need a wire attached to them to make them not disappear into nothingness and having to buy them all over, 200 euros. Hi, this is me from a few hours later. I'm just browsing the web, right? And I came across these, just a solution, I guess. It's these AirPod holders. I. I'm assuming it's solid gold. I guess that would solve the problem, but um, that still leaves you with the fact that they're 200 euros for AirPods and these earphone holders are 323 euros and 95 cents on top of that. I think I'll just go for these. <laughs> Thank you. I don't know. I think the wire is a good look. <laughs> that might've sounded a little bit hypocritical seeing now that I have this. 
but, but, but wait. So these are obviously not real Apple. I think I got these two years ago and they were 35 euros, I think, around that price. I think they were uh, reduced in price as well. So I thought like, okay, you know, maybe it is a little bit more nice if you're doing a workout or something. <laughs> so I thought I would give these a go. They're by the brand Skinny Dip, I'm pretty sure. I've used these a few times. I do see the attraction of like the little Ness, oh my goodness, and it's magnetic and they charge in their case. It's, it's really cool. It's genuinely really cool. So I use these a few times and then after charging them a few times, they just stop working. And I don't know why. And I know this sounds very familiar <laughs> when you see my laptop video, uh, me not being able to uh, turn on the pen. Why is it not working? It was a whole thing. Like that's what happens with technology when it's near me. I'm like this huge disruptive field or something. Like technology just kind of falls over when it's in my nearness. Again, I am very happy with these. I do mourn these a little bit, but I'm super content with using these. And yes, they're a metallic pink. No, I do not regret that. Moving on. Lip gloss, okay. Probably more of a priority, I've gotta be honest. All right, then I wanna talk about my phone. <laughs> because obviously I do have a phone. But again, it's not the newest release of anything. It's not a hot brand in general. This is a, a Xiaomi, which is a Chinese brand. And I got this because it was so incredibly darn cheap. I think it was like 200 euros, which I think is very cheap for a phone. I know that these are little computers though that you can put in your pocket. So it is very impressive and it's very cool and it's very handy and it's very necessary. I got it actually, fun fact, on AliExpress. Not proud of that, but it was uh, the official Xiaomi sh Xiaomi store. Xiaomi store. Mia Mia? What's Mia Mia? The official Xiaomi store and it works and it still works even though I got it two years ago and I have a protective case on it as you can see, which is important, obviously. However, I got this also on AliExpress, which I am very ashamed to say. Don't ever do that, especially because the other day I opened this and this is what I saw. It's shattered, it's shattered. My phone is shattered. The only reason that the front of the phone is not shattered, the screen here, is because I have a screen protector, but it works. So I'm gonna be keeping this for at least another year, I hope, because I'm trying to keep my phones for at least three years. I mean, they still work, so why would you get a new phone every year? And also they take a lot of resources, so I think it's best to, you know, try to use your things as long as you can and protect them well. So don't, don't, don't get your cases from AliExpress. Obviously, I also have my camera, what I'm filming with, and that one is also actually really good. It's not outdated or old or broken. It works very good. It's the EOS M50 Canon. It's the camera that a lot of people who make YouTube videos use, and that's also the reason why I got it, so. Also, I still have my old phone. It's the OnePlus One. Sounds fun, because I think now they're already at 11 or something, OnePlus 11? Or is that the iPhone? And yeah, like the first one of this kind, the ones that you needed an invitation for to get it. So it was like very an exclusive club kind of idea, which is, it's not cool. It's just not cool, is it? But I did not get an invitation because apparently another way to get this was to buy it from the website on a Monday night or something, <laughs> like something very simple or a Tuesday, I don't remember, but um, it was kind of funny. Like, oh, you need, you need an invitation. It's only for people with an invitation. <laughs> or if you buy it on Monday night. But yeah, it was a fun one. I don't have the heart to put it away. Also, I have a feeling that I might use it again someday. I obviously don't mind using old things. Also, this one was really great. The only reason that I replaced it is that it started to act up and like turn off in the middle of a full battery. Again, moving on. I wanted to include these because they're kind of fun and nostalgic. It's a, it's a Game Boy Color. It's seriously from the 90s. They used to belong to my brothers. I say they because Oh my god, she has the not color one. Oh, it's so cool, right? They used to belong to my older brothers. They kind of left it in the house when they moved out, so I just kind of have them now. They don't necessarily belong to me. I didn't claim them, but I'm never gonna get rid of these because they're literally a piece of history. Also, they still work. Wait, it still has batteries in. That's not good. Actually, they could leak, but should we try it? Oh, the batteries still work. It's serving Pikachu. This is so much fun. Volume. Look at this piece of workmanship. Yeah, this is also a bit of a nostalgia dive for me. Anyways, so that was all my um, 
hot tech stuff, maybe a little bit pathetic, but also incredibly cool. If you have any old, outdated, not hot tech stuff lying around, leave it in the comments. I would love to know if there's more people around like me. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I really appreciate your nice comments that you leave underneath my videos. Seriously, it's so nice. Have a nice rest of your day and I will see you in the next video. Bye.